Hey you guys, it's EG, and in this video we're going to be looking at the performance of my main hard drive. That hard drive being a Samsung 980 SSD. It's an NVMe device by Samsung, and I got it kind of with performance in mind, but mainly I just needed a relatively inexpensive additional hard drive since I dual boot on my Lenovo Legion. The main drive being for Windows, this one is for Linux. The SSD980 has pretty impressive specs, I think. Up to 3100 megabytes a second for sequential reads, and for the random read writes it shows crazy high IOPS. Mine is the 500 gigabyte model, so that's what the reference is going to be. The system under test is my Lenovo Legion 5. I'm running Debian testing, and the hard drive has a single partition that is EXT4, if you don't count the boot partition and Debian testing as of this point is running Linux kernel 5.10. So I'd normally use the Fronix test suite to run the flexible I.O. tester tool for benchmarking, but unfortunately I couldn't get it to work at all. I ended up just taking the file that it generates and basically using it to write my own benchmark, and I wrote my benchmark to be as close to the reference provided by Samsung as I could, so block size is 4KB, the Q depth is 32, and that's basically it. So in the background here, I'm running an extended long benchmark, so you have something to look at with the charts and graphs. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Taking a look at the benchmarks, we'll start with reads. On the left we've got sequential read, and on the right is random read. And man, look at that discrepancy on both. On the sequential side, we have megabytes a second, so Samsung reports 3100 is the reference, or like the highest possible speed. On my machine, I got 998, not even a thousand. On the random side, we're looking at the IOPS, so that's input-output operations per second. The Samsung spec sheet says 400,000 IOPS. I got 132,000. That is quite a big difference. And now we'll look at the write speeds. There's still a discrepancy, but not nearly as big in sequential or random. On the sequential side, Samsung reports 2600 and I got 1700. For random write, Samsung is reporting 470,000. I got just above 300,000. Again, the discrepancy isn't nearly as wide as it was on reads, but still, it's pretty big. Now all of this data is pretty cool, but does it illustrate something wrong with my hard drive? I don't know. I mean, honestly, it might not have anything to do with my drive at all. It could just be the firmware or the main board or something in between. I'm making this benchmark more just for me and for my own posterity, I guess, because I've really outgrown this hard drive. 500 gigabytes is just not enough, especially when you think of like really big games. Elder Scrolls is over 100 gigs installed. Grand Theft Auto Online is over 100 gigs installed, so that's like two games, 200, 250 gigs right there. So anyway, I'm going to be upgrading to a one terabyte or larger size here pretty soon, and I wanted to capture this data so that I could run it again on the new drive that I buy. I don't know what it's going to be, but I want to get that data too and compare them. So the reference data here is more just informational. It's not really trying to prove anything. It's definitely interesting, but again, I don't know if it really proves that there's a problem with my drive or even with my disk schedule or kernel settings. I mean, it could be software related too. And for folks interested in this benchmark looking at the hardware, this is all run on Linux. I imagine that it probably runs better on Windows. And in fact, Samsung has additional proprietary software called Samsung Magician Software that helps monitor drive health, but also optimize performance and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm guessing that those numbers that they're reporting are coming from everything being absolutely perfect using their proprietary software in you know the right device or software configuration and everything. So I think benchmarks like this are really important because they show more real world conditions. And apparently in the real world, this SSD is honestly pretty underwhelming. I hope that you liked this video and if you did be sure to leave a like comment subscribe. If you like what I do and you really want to see more you can support me over on Patreon.
I'm also active on Twitter, and I've got other stuff going on here on YouTube. You look in the description, you'll find it. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.